Let's do problem number 23. Find the sample size needed to estimate the percentage of Democrats among registered voters. Okay, so we're looking for a sample size. We're looking for a lowercase n. That's the goal. Use a 0 0.03 margin of error. That's going to be E. So E is our margin of error. And a 90% confidence level. Okay, so 90%. And assume the probability of a registered Democrat is 0.33. So this is called the target proportion. This is what we know. So target proportion is equal to 0 0.33. Okay. And we have to find the width. So the width of the interval, to find it, what you do is you just always multiply E by 2. So it's 2 times the margin of error. So that would just be 0.06. All right, with all this information, now we can go to StatCrunch. So we go to Stat, Proportion Stats, because we know it's Proportion Stats because it's talking about a percentage of Democrats. So you go to Proportion Stats, it's one sample, and then it's with sample size, okay? With sample size. And then here, what you do is you change the level to 0 0.90, and then the target proportion was 0.33, and then your width, we said, was, there it is, 0 0.06. Okay, just make sure everything looks good before you hit compute. So the level is 0 0.90, target proportion is 0 0.33, width is 0 0.06, click compute. There's the answer, 665, boom. By the way, if they don't give you anything here, like if they don't give you the target proportion, you leave it as the default, which is 0.5, watch. Data, sorry, stat. <laughs> proportion stats, one sample with sample size, and you see it's 0 0.5. So that's the default. So you only change it if they give you uh, some information, right? Because if you don't know that um, the probability of a Democrat is 0.33, you really can't make an assumption other than there's a 50-50 chance that someone is a Democrat, and that's why you put 0.5 as the default. Because if you don't know any information, you just have to assume it's 50-50. But since they give us information, we change it. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.